Hello everyone, my name is Ahmed Shaltout. In this tutorial, let's create Laravel storage to save files and images from URLs and after renaming them using Laravel file system to make them unique, we will allow the user to create sub uh, directory in the storage in addition to generating a URL to send to the front end via RESTful API to download. Okay, like here, in this request, we have the URL. This is my logo from my website and the storage name attachments. So when I click send, okay, I get this. When I click it, to show the image. Okay, the first thing I have created a uh, storage to save my files. I name it uh, attachment here in config file system. Here attachments, as you can see, and I added the link right here. And then I carry, uh, I use the, the artisan command PHP artisan storage link. So the, this is the first step. Okay, second, I have created a treat uh, in BHB. I name it files processing here. And I added the functions I need for this processing. Uh, it's better to create a treat for this type of functions uh, so we can use them uh, wherever we want in our applications. So here is the first function, as you can see, for making the directory, it takes a path and um, it check if it's existed or not and then it create its directory and here is the function for downloading uh, the files as you can see this function takes the three arguments the url uh, to, uh, to download and the name of the storage to use and subfolder or directory to add the file in it's optional, so we made it here like a null. Okay, so um, we used um, add the subfolder to add a subdirectory to the file. In addition to the date time to make the file name unique and avoid overriding files. And uh, finally, we downloaded the file, or we download the file from the URL and return and they return uh, a URL to the file, as you can see here. Okay, here is the controller, um, file controller, okay? Uh, and this is a function download, um, takes uh, the request. As you can see here, this is the URL uh, the user provides and the storage name as well. And uh, we are using the download file from URL function in the controller. This is from the treat file processing. Um, and this function, uh, as you can see here, takes the three arguments we have explained. The URL, the storage name, and the subfolder, and it's optional. And then we return to the user uh, success true and the URL to download. And finally, we add the route here in routes api.php. And of course, we call the controller. So, so that's all for now. I hope that was useful for you. Please like and subscribe. And um, thank you. Bye bye.